Hello everybody, welcome to this video and this is my second video in the developer channel and in this video pretty much I will be showing you uh, 10 useful websites or I think there are 9, not 10, yeah, 9 useful websites uh, for web developers, Photoshop guys and basically all the designers out there and then let's get started without any hazel. So, uh, my first is colors. So, colors are most important on any project you take over. So, first let's go to the colors website. So, basically this is materialuicolors.co or basically the material color palette. Uh, here you can find best material colors which were picked by Google official. So, uh, uh, the first thing you will find after logging to this website is level. Uh, you can change the color intensity. I, that means the lightest to the darkest. And by default, it will be set to 500. So that's in the middle kind of thing. So this is made by Panda Network, I think. Yeah, it's that. And you, here on the next, you'll have a drop down menu where you can uh, change uh, the color type like RGB, hex, RGBA, or hex with hash for using in HTML. RGB is better used uh, for me it is VB.NET because I use that in VB.NET but you can also use RGB and RGBA in uh, HTML also uh, that's your wish right whatever you can use so uh, by going to the second thing is um, by going to the hovering over the color palette you can click uh, you can see there's a button called copy so you can use that button to copy it. So for example, if I want this light blue, I'm gonna copy that and it says item copied. So I click and paste it here and that color, as you can see, is on the stuff. So coming back to this, this is pretty good for uh, web developers as well as designers who are making posters and all. Basically, this is meant for focused material design stuff so if you want something like uh, flat UI there's also the website for that and this is the second website basically and uh, this is flatuicolors.com and this is also made by the same website maker Panda uh, Network and um, the difference between both of the websites is pretty much one uses HD, uh, material colors and second one uses flat UI colors so the same here, you can have the, uh, what they say, option of uh, RGBA, RGB, hex, and uh, hex with the hash. Uh, all the same stuff here. And then same here, if you click on some uh, blue here, it says copied. And the, you can paste it wherever you want. As you can see, the code is being copied here. So this is my second website and coming back to the third one we'll be seeing about photos so coming to stock photos is most important thing i've ever seen because uh, i use the stock photos mostly on my uh, facebook cover pages uh, and uh, you can use this anymore uh, there are way more uses of using stock photos so uh, i found this website called unsplash where they give me free do whatever you want high resolution photos so there are no copyright issues with this it's 100 percent perfect it's uh like there will no be any issues with this website so you can download pretty much all the photos here all of them are free there are no paid ones the service itself is free so it's very good they don't come with any kind of watermark so you can use them uh, um, confidently with within your project so that's about this and um, as you know this website is pretty big actually uh, there are a ton of stuff but nothing shows on top everything you have a search bar here which you have to search so you're gonna have three pages I think on the top of the name bar you have home new which are gonna take you to the new photos so let's see that or you have collection stuff so as you can see this is new new photos uploaded so and you will even have collections the 
thing with unsplash.com is that you have to know what you want. So what kind of picture you want, what is the topic, and all of that stuff you have to know. Otherwise, it's going to be a great mess finding up. It's going to take a lot of time. And pretty much the third is for icons. So I basically use Photoshop and I don't know much of the Illustrator uh, to create uh, scalable vector graphics icons and also uh, there's a big problem that is Photoshop doesn't export that ICO files or basically icons. So when I use them in Visual Basic projects or on my websites as fav icons and pictures, that makes a big problem, right? Basically I convert icon converts your PNG file into a multi-sized icon. So let, let us see what that is. This program is also available for Mac OS X. So you can get that or you can get it for Windows. So this is, this is how it looks like on Mac OS X. And this is how it looks on Windows. So uh, basically the problem with this, I don't say it is a problem, but uh, it's a backdrop. So the backdrop is that um, it's paid, it's not free, it's a premium service. So the free is you can use it online. So you can use it online, just drop the icon on the website and that should be worked. But as you can see, uh, you have pretty good list of icons here. You see that? Pretty good list of icons popping out there, here and there. So uh, whatever you convert through this online service, icons are gonna pop up on recently converted icons pane. So there is no uh, privacy. So uh, I recommend you not to convert any sensitive data or something you have created on your own so that others can download that without your permission. I hope you understand that. And then uh, this is for those who wanna create awesome icons but they don't know about the basics. So this is Icon Finder, the best icon website Till now, I'm using I'm using still last two years. So, this is pretty good. Um, as you can see, it is paid, but you can use it for free also. For example, if I want like an icon of uh, Twitter, for example, I'm gonna take this. As you can see, uh, here are a lot of Twitter icons. And then you can have like for any format, like PNG format, or they should be a vector-based format so in that you can have any price or free or only the premium ones which you have to pay so the licensing type is also there so no license only for commercial use or no link back no link basically no licensing means uh, there's no license filter at all it means it's it's gonna combine for commercial use as well as uh, no link back all of them and the second one is for commercial use which means uh, you can only use it for commercial stuff, although you can use it for free. But uh, there's uh, there's like only you got to use it for commercial. And then no link back means uh, you don't need to, but by using the icon, you don't need to link it back to the uh, website. So for example, I got this icon, which is looking pretty good. Uh, it doesn't mean that I'm going to link it back. So I'm gonna link to the creator of the icon there. So created by so-and-so. There's no need to link that. And then uh, you can have almost any kind of icon with this. Um, I pretty much go with free. I don't uh, have a subscription to this, but even though I'm running it for free, there are almost all the icons I've used are satisfied. They are awesome. They're great, super great. So, um, one thing I like to show you is you can download any of the icons here and then save it to your computer. Once you have done, you can drag it here. So it, it goes into the ICO file or if available, you can directly download the ICO file here. Coming back to the next stuff, we have a code editor. So pretty much code editor is for uh, only web developers, uh, not for designers, but if you want to use this, you can. This is Code Anywhere. Let me go into full screen so you can see better. So this is CodeAnywhere.com uh, and uh, I have just now created the account pretty much blank. So I'll show you how you can create a new container with this. You can click on File, New Connection, Container. 
and then it's gonna load it's gonna take some time and you can name it whatever I'm gonna name it my channel name or some developer and I'm gonna select uh, HTML CSS is it there yeah HTML and you have two Linux versions CentOS 6.5 or Ubuntu 14.04 I best prefer Ubuntu 14.04 but uh, that depends on your choice so on your preference so you can click on create and it's gonna create your container so it's deploying it it's gonna take a little bit of time okay after completing deploying uh, it's gonna show something like this like wasn't developer container and it's gonna give me the RAM uh, the disk space the sudo access SSH access on and HTTP socket ports so you're gonna keep this file pretty important and then you have the terminal right here of Ubuntu and you could pretty much create new files here like new HTML programs CSS programs and the good thing is that if I click on new connection you can see that you can directly connect to github bitbucket git FTP SFTP or SSH Dropbox Google Drive Amazon S3 service OneDrive and DigitalOcean. So that's all for this website and then let's go to the next one. And the next one is for free fonts. So you have millions of fonts on this. This website is called 1001 fonts. Uh, I think pretty much everybody knows about this website but uh, we're gonna see for that. So this is the website. Uh, so you can get almost any font. Uh, the good thing of this website is that you can use the fonts for commercial use for free so not all the fonts you, you, as you can see there is a button here which says only show the fonts that are free for commercial use so once I click that automatically it's gonna take me to this screen where all my fonts are commercial commercially free to use so I don't need to pay even a single penny for using it on commercial projects maybe I got to link it with backlinking or link the creator that this font is being imported from so and so guy but um, I'm not sure about it so you can go to this website and check out the next one I'm gonna talk about is free web designing files or uh, free beast bug free beast bug so you can find pretty much anything for free here uh, this was pretty impressive I think yeah I download just some quite a bit of small fonts but I don't actually use these so uh, for me these don't have such value but the website is awesome it's great so you can get uh, free PSDs of app designs icons mockups and much more also you can have illustrator freebies icons I think icons and logos sketch files or free fonts so I get them so uh, my main use is to get the free fonts from this website so you can even have code stuff like uh, HTML website templates, UA kits, and JavaScript plugins, etc. You can also have stock photos. I think, yeah, you can have stock photos. So this is pretty much all in one website for freebiesbug.com. The next is codyhouse.co. Uh, Cody and f from all of that which I've shown you right now, this is the best and the best one I've ever seen. So uh, this website actually provides you the CSS nougat so let's browse the library by clicking this button and uh, this just uh, shows you a list of nougat means uh, snippets of code that are just insane awesome so let me show you one let me pick up which one should I choose ah uh, yeah this one this one looks cool this is kind of like a slideshow template, uh, like slideshow, uh, whatever you want to say, like PowerPoint presentation slides or stuff like that. You can use it by using your arrow keys as I'm pressing right now. So as you can see, this is slide two and these are sub slides, slide three and slide four, slide five, slide six, slide six has I think sub slides. So you can create as much as you want. And as you can see, there's a little menu icon drop here. So you can click that and you get a full screen size, uh, full screen navigation bar for the icons. As you know, the icon dots 
change by their color so you know that which color was indication there so you can use that as a theme color for those so this is pretty good nougat uh, there are almost many nougats in this website uh, I like this website very much and I think that's all for this video uh, like share subscribe if you found something useful in this video and uh, Pretty much this is only my second video on the developer channel, so make sure you subscribe to my channel because I need you. Please help me. I need you. So, and uh, all the websites are shown in this uh, video will be linked down below in the description, so you can go directly from there and check out them. So that's all for this video, and thank you.